The neck is involved in every single impact related concussion. May not be blast, like I said, because it's due to pressure waves. But impact related concussions are uh, due to acceleration and deceleration of the brain. We used to think it was the brain hitting the inside of the skull and kind of creating a bruising on the brain. And more recent kind of neuroimaging has found that the injury actually occurs more to the white matter, which is a deeper tissue in the brain. And the theory is that the brain tissue actually stretches. So when there's an acceleration, if you think of the brain like jello, if I'm to shake a plate of jello like this, it's going to kind of bounce up and down and deform this way. Now, if I was to zoom in on every little jello fiber strand, I would see that get stretched and come back almost like an elastic, right? Comes back, stretches, comes back. Well, the, the brain cells have these little holes within them. So as they get stretched, those holes get stretched open. And then there's some stuff that's inside the brain cell that isn't supposed to leave necessarily. And then stuff outside that's not supposed to come in. And so you get this exchange that happens and that exchange creates this excitation. So the brain, the nerves of the brain start to fire uncontrollably and that causes your initial symptoms. So this is the first phase of concussion and it's called the excitatory phase because the brain gets stimulated and gets excited. Now, if we were to do an MRI, and I know many of you have probably had an MRI or a CT scan of some kind to look at the brain and it's probably normal because it is in concussion because there's actually no damage from a structural standpoint to the brain. Concussion is a functional injury. It changes how the brain functions, but it does not damage the structure of the brain. All right, so you have acceleration and deceleration to the to the head and neck, okay? So that's the first part. No damage to the brain. In severe brain injuries, that's when you actually get damage. So the reason why they're doing a CT scan at the hospital is to try and see if A, if there's any bleeding going on, if you've torn some blood vessels and there's some bleeding going on, because that can be obviously very significant. Number two, they're looking to see if there's any skull fractures or anything they should need to be worried about. Number three, they're looking for any actual structural brain damage, okay? But with concussion, CT scan is going to be normal and away you go. Um, and so that's it. So basically what you get is a stimulation, quick stretch, and you get all this firing, which can cause dizziness, blurred vision, uh, balance impairments, headaches, uh, confusion, disorientation. All of these things happen because there's so much going on inside the brain at that moment in time that it just you can't make sense of what's going on around you. Okay. Now, because of all this firing and all this stimulation, you get into phase two because all of that firing and stimulation burns a lot of energy. And because of that stretch mechanism and the stuff that's exchanged through, it actually impairs your brain cells ability to produce energy. So we end up burning a lot of energy while we go around and clean up all this mess that's occurred, but we're not creating or producing enough energy. So we get a mismatch. So we actually are net negative on our energy. We're burning more energy than we're creating. And so what happens over the first few days after concussion is people get very tired, very fatigued. Things that normally wouldn't really bother them end up really bothering them because they just kind of crash down in terms of an energy standpoint. So basically, your brain just isn't functioning, not firing on all cylinders. You have this energy deficit. But after a couple of weeks, that energy deficit has actually reversed itself and you've come out of it. And they find this even in patients with chronic persistent symptoms, these energy deficits have essentially resolved. So people go, well, wait a minute, but I'm still having symptoms and I, my energy still feels really low and I'm really fatigued. That's a different thing. So like I said, concussion is a short-term functional injury. You get this stretching, which is due to acceleration of the brain, right? It's not, it's not impacts, right? This doesn't cause concussion injuries. You need to have a really good big acceleration, which stretches brain tissue. When that stretch occurs, you're going to get this exchange of ions. That's going to stimulate the brain, create this excitatory thing that's going to cause your initial symptoms. That subsides within a few seconds to minutes. So it's a very quick thing. But then the result of that over the next few, few weeks is that energy just dropping, dropping, dropping. Then you turn the corner and you come back up and, and between three and six weeks, all of it is back to normal. Okay? So that is the first part.